Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you the test results I had with the Resi1 Tough 74 V2 resin. As you know by now, Resi1 is my favorite resin brand for several reasons. One of it is that they have a wide selection of resins for all purposes imaginable. They are quite affordable for high quality resins. And last but not least, they mix very well. That means you can achieve like really great results with different properties. So let's start with the test results. The action figure that the Hawk I usually use for test printing. I printed this figure roughly five months ago came out pretty nice as you can see high detail surface looks very nice for a five months old figure it actually still works pretty well didn't loosen up too much the joints still have good grip it's very tight that means there's not much of deformation going on like even with the with the pressure you have on the walls of these snap fit joints that's a very very good sign for this resin you can see the, the parts fit quite well. There's a pretty good helmet fit. The helmet visor hinge still works fine. The weapons, okay, this is a bit loose here. But other than that, back. your weapons connect pretty well still. Let's try the hand. Your hand works perfect. It's very tight. And the last test with the assembled figure, the uh, helmet actually sits really good on there, is to exchange the hat. So we have our classic Snoopy cap hats for all the figures. And recently I offered these replacement hats without the Snoopy caps for several figures. So you just have a normal head with, with a hairdo, full face and ears and stuff. So yeah, this works pretty well. Also sits nice and tight. And let's switch back to the Snoopy cap head. In conclusion, I would say this is a pretty good result. I assembled this uh, figure about one day after print. The usual problem you have with 3D print resins is that they become brittle after some time. Once a figure is assembled, it's not that bad. I mean, except if you drop them or step on them or whatever, of course they tend to break. But if you handle it with care, it shouldn't be that much of a problem even if it becomes brittle. A problem, however, is if you have a brittle resin, and I'm not saying the Tough 74 V2 is brittle, but just in case if you have a brittle resin, assembly can be much harder once it's dried and your printed parts have been sitting for a while on the shelf or wherever. And after a few weeks or even months, you decide to assemble them. Um, that could pose a problem because usually their parts lose in flexibility and especially for small parts, they're prone to break. So, uh, what I have here now is another print I did at the same time and I let this uh, print sit out in the open. So after printing, washing, curing, I just let this sit for the last five months. And now I want to see how the parts assemble and we're going to do a quick test. Okay, so you can see they, they come off super easily. I'm not gonna go clean up the parts now. We have very little residue. This is also nice with this resin, works pretty well. But what I want to test is how these assemble after sitting out in the open. Is there still enough flexibility for the parts to go together without breaking? And the elbow, for example, is a critical part because these the cavities for the ball joints are pretty thin walled. But as you can see, this snapped together nicely. No problem. Let's do the other one. Other arm. I'm always a bit careful. I'm, I don't want to break them on purpose. So it's good to do this slowly, to wiggle in slowly and carefully. Just give it time to expand a little. Don't do it too hastily, like even with freshly printed resin, even with the more flexible stuff. This can break if you are too, too forceful, too fast. So, but anyway, this looks good. So let's continue. Just breaking off the parts. Comes off nicely. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's start here. This is the right foot. Okay. Well, this went well. Right foot, that means this one, right thigh. 
Okay, let's try to get this camera as best as possible. Okay, that's nice. You put it on. Next one. Okay, okay. Slowly, carefully wiggling. Oh, there's a snap, but nothing broke off. It's all fine. So. do the helmet first. This is also an interesting piece to test because the these parts are very small, these connections like these uh, hinge snap joints and it's always a good indicator if you have a good resin if they snap well together and they do. It fits perfectly. Really nice. Really nice. And here we go. Here you have the ready assembled figure. And again, this particular print has been sitting for five months out in the open. It wasn't packed away, it wasn't sealed, airtight, just sitting on my table here. And yeah, I'm really glad with this resin. It's really nice. Usually you have some brittleness after resin sits for such a long time, but not in this case. So, thank you very much again to Resi1 for sending me a sample of this resin. And my conclusion is, it's perfect for action figures. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this test video. If you did so, please leave a like and subscribe. And see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.